Coming up, he's a 10-year military veteran who received the Purple Heart for his service in Afghanistan. But Michael Tang's latest challenge is our American Ninja Warrior course. His run when we continue. In the starting blocks right now out of Edison, New Jersey, it's Michael Tang. He's a 28-year-old military veteran who's running for a very personal reason. We were on a mission, and while we were returning from the mission, our convoy was ambushed. I just woke up and all I saw was blood. My entire arm and neck and face was covered in shrapnel from the rocket. It was just hard because I lost one of my friends out there. His name was Torin Harris. I mean, Ever since I got out of the military, I've just been trying to, you know, push myself and, you know, make myself stronger. One of uh, Torian's catchphrases was always, uh, get tough. When we would go on a mission that really sucked, he'd be like, get tough, you know, just work it out. And, you know, that's, that's what I'm going to think. What an inspirational story. Just the pure will and determination to get here is off the charts. Well, you have to think after what Tang has been through, he's not only physically tough, but mentally tough as well. Oh, no sooner than I say it, he goes out on the quad steps, has to be so disappointed. Well, he said as soon as he got out of the military, he's always wanted to do American Ninja Warrior, and he's been training for it. And the good news is now he's experienced the quad <laughs> steps in all their glory. He can go back and practice and come back again next year. Let's go to Angela, who's with Michael right now. Michael, what would you want people to take away from your story? I mean, I just want people to realize that um, we are still at war, and uh, there's a lot of soldiers out there, you know, paying ultimate sacrifice. And um, I just hope that, you know, everybody supports them. Well, you definitely represented well. We hope to see you here next year. Thank you. Guys, 